was laid to rest when Mayor Bill de Blasio spoke at the funeral. Uh, scores of NYPD officers actually turned their backs on the monitor while the mayor was given the eulogy. So uh, sort of politicizing the whole debate between City Hall and the NYPD, many police unions saying that the mayor has not shown them enough support uh, with recent cases of men uh, being killed while officers were trying to arrest them. But at this point, the NYPD police commissioner did urge all of his officers not to show any disrespect here at the funeral today, that this is a time to remember and reflect on the life of Officer Wen Jin Liu. It happened two weeks ago uh, in Brooklyn where the two officers were sitting in their patrol car when a, a man walked up and just ambushed them, opened fire, shooting both of them in the head, killing them. Now, the man had a, a long history with mental illness, according to his family. Earlier that day in Baltimore and Maryland, he was going to kill himself. An ex-girlfriend talked him out of it. He then shot her. She survived, but he traveled from Baltimore here to New York City. And on social media, he had put out that he wanted to kill two NYPD officers in revenge for the deaths of Eric Gardner here in uh, New York City and Mike Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. Uh, so many people were very upset about that, that this was some sort of revenge assassination. But once again, people point out he was mentally ill. But at the end of the day, you do have two